So this is what it looks like when all five babies are feeding. And, and shh, let's hear what it sounds like. All right, Fisher. Everyone's doing so good. Whoops, I'll have to get a new nipple. Now that we got five bottles shaken up, ready to go, it's time to feed some babies. Here we go. All right, we got the boppies, not bobbies, lined up and ready to go. So each one, we like to have one of these prop pillows a burp cloth and their bottle. That's Adeline Space, Eliana's, Linnea, and Harper's. They're not always in this order. And then we got Eliana basically ready to go. Are you hungry, honey? Are you ready to go? We got Linnea right here, zonked out. And then the other three are in the crib. We call this the calm before the storm. Sometimes. Are you ready to eat, sweetheart? Are you ready to go? Okay. So Stephanie will show us how we set one up. She's pretty calm, though. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Are you ready, hon? You okay. Set the prop pillow in. There's a All right, and then sometimes what we like to do with the burp cloth, to prop it up even more. There we go. Okay, yeah. Steph. I hear somebody else. I think we should go um, awaken the beast. <laughs> yeah. I think they're waking up anyways. Yeah, they are naturally. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna hang out with babies in here because we never leave our babies alone while they're eating. And mom's gonna go wake everybody else up. How you doing, Eliana? How's the food? Is it good? Harper! The beast has awoken. She's not as crazy as she usually is. Are you ready, honey? Are you ready to eat, sweetheart? Yeah, let's do it. You're in a good mood. Hey, honey. Right, first, you gotta show her onesie. Daddy's little monster. Where's it? Oh, there we go. Daddy's little monster right there. Okay. What are you doing? Watch out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Harper's off. She's cool. Thanks, Mom. Hey, honey. 
Hey. How are you, sweetheart? Love you, hon. Who's next? Oh, man. Fisher's over here. So usually they wake up a little bit more rowdy than this, but... Our schedule's a little off today, though. Schedule's a little off today. Usually they're ready to eat. Oh, and this week he was... <laughs> oh. his pacifier in school. He did. Oh. Are you ready, you son? pacifier mark. Where? He's got a passy mark on his face. <laughs> he's ready, though. I mean... Okay. He's Rudy. Are you going to wake up And now? he's got the Mr. Bucky shirt on today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's ready to go. But you're not going to wake up. Oh, there's the eye. Oh. There's the eye. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. You hungry? <laughs> oh, bud. Hey, bud. Look at your butt over here, buddy. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. There you go. Hey. Oh, yeah. The life. Oh, sorry. You good? Good job, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Everyone's tired today. Mm -hmm. It's because it's cloudy. Yeah. No sun. It's the weather. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, big stretch. You waking up? You waking up? Hey, honey. <laughs> yeah, hi. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Are you yeah. ready to eat? Yes, Mom. Please. One more baby. Come on, Linnea. So comfortable. I know. It's so cozy. Harper, have you already drinking all your bottle? What are you doing, honey? There she is. Okay. Oh, hold on. I got it. There she is. Hello. You say hi, Daddy. Are you ready to eat, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah. You getting excited for food? <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Are you ready? Here he is. There you go. Yeah. No, my hands are. Is it going to taste good? There we go. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Oh, where's your sock go? You can make it fall. Now I'll fall asleep again. Nice work, Mom. Oh. There we go. <laughs> done. Very good job. Oh, yeah. Finished. Here we go. So this is what it looks like when all five babies are feeding. And, and shh, let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, she's done. That's how we know they're finished. Is when we hear that air sucking through. Woo! That good was job, good. Harper. All right, Fisher. Everyone's doing so good. Linnea, how's your food today? Is it good? And then we have Miss Eliana. 
Good job, sweetheart. How is it, Adeline? Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. Killing it. What are you doing now, hon? I'm holding her upright. Because <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> Either a big burp or a big spit. You don't ever spit up, do you, Harper? You don't ever I spit up, do you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I do. It's always good to have three outfits on deck mm -hmm. for both us and Harper. <laughs> You should get a shot of your pants because they have a bunch of spit up on. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> See a little bit of stains right there. <laughs> How was your meal today? How was your service? It was so good. It was so yummy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job, bunny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sit up, baby crunches. Uh. Yeah, baby crunches. Baby crunches. Mm. I feel like she's gonna spit again. What? So we got a situation here. Zonked out. And uh, there's a lot left in that bottle, buddy. But it happens sometimes. Sometimes that milk is just too good. <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> There you go. Good job, bud. Good job, buddy. Eliana's all finished up. How was it, honey? How was it? How was it? So we're gonna show you our new and improved efficient way to burp a baby. <laughs> this is the best way we found. Especially for her. Especially for her. Are you ready? Eliana. <laughs> Eliana, hey sweetheart, are you ready to get burped? <laughs> yeah, and we have fun doing it too. Oh man, are you ready? Are you gonna burp? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that was so perfect. Buddy. That was a good one. And I guess it's because they're using their core. And they're sitting upright. But she loves it, don't you, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah. Don't you love it? <laughs> and then the last thing we say is, uh, oh, oh, nice, honey. One. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> love you, honey. Yeah. Mm. Good job, sweetheart. Miss Adeline's done. We're gonna burp Miss Adeline that same way, right? Okay. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you gonna burp for daddy too? There it is. Good job, honey. Yeah. How much do you love your dad, mom and daddy? A lot. How was how was lunch or brunch this morning? Was it good? Oh. There it is. Good job, honey. Yeah. Okay. Can I have a kiss? Can I have one? Love you, hon. Are you ready to burp too? Are you ready, Linnea? Yeah. Here we go. Let's see what you got, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you gonna burp for me? She's probably the most difficult one. Are you gonna burp for me? like just sitting there though. Yeah. Are you gonna burp? Oh. <sighs> Almost have one? Mm -hmm. 
Almost. No. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, no burps. No burps from in there right now. That's okay. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> Harper's ready for dessert. Did you find your thumb? <laughs> <laughs> love it, huh? <laughs> Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready, too? Bless you. Are you gonna burp, Mr. Bucky? Ah. Oh yeah. Oh, you're heavy. You're heavy, buddy. Okay. Here you go. Oh no. yeah. Are you gonna burp? Are you gonna burp for daddy? Oh. Oh. Ah. Can you burp? Can you burp for daddy? <laughs> <laughs> He's so handsome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Those lashes. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. You're doing great, buddy. Girl. No burps? No burps? Just handsome? Just handsome? I love you. Oh, hi, buddy. He's looking right at me. Hey, bud. Hi. <laughs> Mr. Photogenic. I know. Oh, bud. Okay. The aftermath. Everyone's fed. That was actually really... That was, I think, like, the best feed we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> that was like they knew we were filming. <laughs> that was super easy. <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. Great job, guys. How was it, buddy? Good stuff. Everyone pretty much fi finished your bottle. Woo. Hey, Eliana. Good. <laughs> and we got Linnea. How was your meal? Was it good? Oh, she's getting her sock off again. S socks off. And then, obviously, Harper is, uh, yeah, in her own world right now. Good job, girl. Good job, Mom. <laughs> so we won't show up for this video, but what do we do next? Diapers. Diapers. That takes us, what, like, five, ten minutes? Probably closer to ten. Closer to ten. Problem is we start talking to them. Well, yeah. The now it's like Probably the, like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how playful they are and how playful we are. It also depends on how many poop divers are. Yeah. But look at There's Harper. There's at least one. She's like, I just want to suck on something. <laughs> <laughs> Harper. Okay. Great she job, everybody. Second <laughs> sock is off. And now it's on her belly. <laughs> what? How'd you do that? <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Good job. All the babies are now fed. They're fast asleep, taking a nap. And we thought it would be really good to talk about a lot of the questions we get when it comes to feeding feeding the babies, because there are yeah. a lot of questions. You saw a little bit of how we do it, yeah. but, but now we'll kind of just run through specific things. So yeah. first off, how long does it actually take us to feed all the babies? From like start to finish, feeding them, changing diapers and things like that, probably an hour and a half? Something hour like to that. Hour, hour and a half, yeah. give or take. We get like a nice... It's gotten a lot better. It used yeah. to take for sure an hour and a half. But mm -hmm. now I feel like you can get it done in about an hour. We get a nice two to three hours break in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst part about feeding them though? Spit up. Oh, spit up, really? Yeah, I think so. I would have said bottles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. We clean a lot of bottles. Yeah. Takes That's a long time. <laughs> I would say the most common question we get is if... They're all being breastfed. Mm -hmm. And they're not all being breastfed. Um, however, I do pump a lot and they get at least one full feed of breast milk a day. The and, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. And just because we know breast milk is the most important nutrition wise, best thing for mm -hmm. a baby, I mean, that's why we're able to make it, which is really cool. Um, I'm, I know that's not always an option for people. Mm -hmm. um, I always knew that it wasn't going to be, they were going to be able to always be fully on breast milk. Um, I honestly didn't even know if I was able to breastfeed or not, or produce breast milk. <laughs> Oven beeping. <laughs> but, 
But, um, yeah, so we always knew we were going to have to do formula. Um, you started researching mm -hmm. kind of into formula and whatnot, what to do, because we knew we wanted to get, try and get the best, the best, the best. The best of the best. Yeah. So. so I went ahead and filmed a whole very long section about the formula that we use mm -hmm. to keep this section short. I will just say we ended up finding a goat milk formula brand that we really love. It's amazing. Our babies are thriving on it. After a lot of research, we found this company and we make our own goat milk formula now mm -hmm. with all the products that they supply. So it's Mount Capra goat milk formula. It's really good stuff. I reached out to them and said, I would love to make, I would love to partner with them in um, advertising for their formula um, because it's actually a product that I believe in and it's, our babies have thrived on it and I just want to get the good word out yeah. on their formula. So they gave me a coupon code. It's Friels10 and I'll make sure to put that in, de in the description of the video, but we've loved it. What does that give you? And you get 10% off. 10% off. Yeah. So... We've absolutely loved it. It's been really, really great. Babies are thriving. And, and so you actually enjoy making it too. Yeah, I do. Like okay. It's a kind of fun. So again, breast milk is the best thing. But in our situation, you can't quite make enough breast milk for them. Yeah, not But Steph is killing it. So next part of this video is long, but it will show you exactly how you make the formula. So I, fe I felt like that would be hmm. an important thing for yeah. people to watch. Again, the company is called Mount Capra. I'll link everything below. Also, an article about why goat milk formula is mm. really good yeah. for babies. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll transition into the second part of this video. Bye-bye. At this point, you're probably wondering, what do we actually feed the babies? I feel like one of the most common questions we get asked, or I don't really get asked it, Stephanie gets asked it, is do you breastfeed all your babies? And Stephanie's in the other room right now, that's so why I'm looking over there. Stephanie is pumping, how often? You're pumping six times a day? Stephanie pumps six times a day and she breastfeeds uh, for one of the feeds once a day as well. So she is giving them as, <laughs> breastfeeds one baby, doesn't breastfeed all five. In terms of nutrition, nothing beats breast milk. If we could give them unlimited supply of breast milk, that would be ideal, but we can't, which is okay um, because uh, Stephanie is not expected to breastfeed fully five babies. Because we knew that, we wanted to find a good formula for the babies to grow on. And actually, when they get sent home from the NICU, or when they did get sent home from the NICU, they got sent home, it's called Similac Neosure. And um, they're big on parents using this for the babies because it's really high in different minerals and vitamins for babies who are preemies to kind of catch up on life on. Thankful for all the formula we were given. However, we just... We felt like our babies did not um, do well on this formula. The baby survived on Stephanie's breast milk for how long? The babies were in the NICU on average. They all came home at different times, but around 70 days. And our best guess is they were fully on Stephanie's breast milk until about day 55 to day 60. So they were thriving in the NICU. Kind of weird to talk about, but it's the truth is their poops looked really good. They looked how a breast milk baby should look. And then as soon as the babies were put on the NeoSure, it just completely changed what everything looked like. Um, I feel like our babies became more fussy and kind of gassy. And so I immediately did not really like this stuff, but I was perfectly okay with just following protocol while they were in the NICU. However, once we took them home, we took Eliana home at first and the first night she cried the entire night. She was constipated, very gassy and just seems like she couldn't get to sleep well because she was so gassy. So we both made the call that NeoSure was probably not gonna be what we wanted to end up using. So then I looked up organic uh, baby formulas and came across a company called Bobby Formula. And we did start using that and the babies did much better compared to the NeoSure and just in terms of sleeping well, they weren't gassy. That immediately went down. You could also fortify it, which was really important so the babies would catch up on their weight. So we were able to fortify it well. But one night I was kind of doom scrolling on Facebook and came across a Bobby Facebook ad. And someone in the comments mentioned, I just wish it didn't have soy. So I went down that whole rabbit hole of what that can do, your, do to your baby. 
And another comment mentioned why goat milk formula is one of the best formulas you could do. So then I was kind of went down the tangent of, well, maybe we should just try to make our own goat milk formula. Stephanie has a sister and she raised her baby on goat milk. And so I started to look at that and I Googled, I Googled DIY goat milk baby formula, something along those lines. And the first result was a company called Mount Capra. And that's what we have here. I have the article on my phone, their blog post. So I'm gonna kind of like skim through that as I talk with you. But they don't sell a final goat milk formula product, but they give you all the supplies and they teach you how to make your own. And our babies have thrived on this formula. Um, they've also thrived because of Stephanie's breast milk, but this has been the best formula that we found. And so in the article, it just talks about goat milk formula or goat milk is more or less the closest equivalent to human breast milk in nature from an animal. Uh, basically the same composition. It's kind of cool making it yourself because you know there's no corn syrup, there's no seed oils in it. It's just a very good product that's healthy, that's organic. And I've never really cared about organic and all that stuff until I became a father. And now it's insanely important to me because I want my babies to have the best stuff possible. Another big thing is the goat milk powder is also, uh, or the goats um, are raised on a non GMO farm as well, which is really cool. But yeah, Steph, how have the babies done on this formula? Really, really good. She says really, really good. So all babies are hitting their milestones. It's a little weird because they're, they have an adjusted age and all this stuff, but they're thriving. They're super happy. They're not gassy. They sleep great. And, um, what, what did the pediatrician say? Yes, our pediatrician has even said these are some of the healthiest babies they've ever seen. Not preemies, not quintuplets. I, we're, we're the only quintuplets she has seen. But yeah, she said they're doing phenomenal. I would say after switching to this, seeing how they were operating on the NeoSure and now they're on this formula, they're doing so much better. And uh, I'm just super thankful I found this company. Um, it's also a Christian run company too, which is super cool and uh, it's a family-run company so you're not even supporting a massive corporation but just a family farm and uh, they do some really cool things so i'm going to kind of walk you through each ingredient to the goat milk formula i'm going to film myself making it and uh, i hope this helps you in deciding and finding some good baby formula so the first the main product is the goat milk formula itself right here you don't have to buy it in this big of a bag um, to a regular person, this would probably last you like three months. To us, it lasts us about 10 days, which is crazy. But it's 10 pounds of goat milk formula. Again, whole goat milk, easy to digest, non-GMO. Good stuff right there. Grass-fed, family farm, no hormones, no soy, gluten-free, non-GMO. So the new crunchy dad that's in me loves this stuff. Second ingredient is goat milk lactose. So that's just the natural milk sugar to give the babies carbohydrates that they need. And again, grass-fed, family farm, gluten-free, non-GMO, no hormones, no chemicals, and no soy. So there's the lactose. The next thing is goat milk. Is it ghee or g g? Ghee. Oh, oh, g, oh, ghee. So there's the ghee, and that's just providing fats for the baby. Also, I read on their website they whether or not this is true, I'm not entirely sure, but they are the only farm that supplies goat milk ghee in the country. There's obviously cow ghee, but the only goat milk ghee in the country. So that's where their fat is. And then I just like to put it in basically a syrup container. It's a lot easier to mix um, with this, but here's the original container it comes in. The next product is unsulfured, organic, blackstrap molasses. And this is good. It's a good source of B vitamins and it's a natural source of iron for the babies. Um, but it also, it helps keep them regular too. So if the babies get constipated, you increase the amount of molasses. If their poops are a little too runny, you decrease this. And also I put it in a syrup container as well. So there's molasses. Um, again, all this stuff is in the blog post on their website, so I'll link it. But this is extra virgin olive oil. And this is a good source of monosaturated fats for the babies and 
oleic acid, O-L-E-I-C, acid, which apparently is critical for baby formula. So that's where this comes from, or this supplies that. I don't have the container, um, but this is actually hemp oil, which I feel like can probably scare some people, uh, but hemp oil is actually a, a major superfood and uh, provides a lot of omega-3s. Yes, and we think this is a, uh, Stephanie would put this in her smoothies while she was pregnant, and we really think this is a part of the reason why the babies are doing so well today. It's because of the hemp oil. And this, on their website, the original formula calls for grapeseed oil, but they say hemp oil uh, is one-on-one -on -one exchange or ratio, so you can swap them out. And uh, so we went with hemp oil, and that supplies low, I'm gonna mess this up, That supplies linoleic acid, L-I-N-O-L-E-I-C acid, which apparently is an essential fatty acid for babies as well. Um, I guess something about normal baby formula is they overload it with linoleic acid and it causes a lot of inflammation in babies, which is part of the reason why they get so um, uncomfortable and whiny. And so you only add just in a little bit of this. So, Think about separating all this. This is in every bottle of formula that they have, all this is in there. The other thing that's really cool about this baby form formula is they supply you, they call them once, once dailies. And we only add this to one bottle a day. This is Dr. Holness Head Start Multivitamin. So we add that, that gives them baby crying in the background. <laughs> that gives them vitamin D. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna run through it all. But again, babies are thriving. I'm sure this is a part of it. So this is their multivitamin. That same company, which Mount Capra supplies, uh, Dr. Holness Flora Start Kids. It's a probiotic for the babies. We add in goat milk colostrum once a day as well, just for immune support to keep the babies from getting sick. And, um, Nature's first food is what they say on the bottle. And then last but not least, we have two different things. We have a DHA supplement for the babies that we add in once a day. This is supporting their brain development and their eye development. And uh, apparently babies' brains double their first year of life. I wouldn't be surprised if it's more than that. And they're doing really well on it. Last but not least, we have an iron supplement that we add. Um, I think the like generic brand is called Polyvisol. We ended up going with a different one. We wanted to get one that was a little bit better ingredients. So we, we have Nova Ferrum. Um, that's an iron supplement that we're using. And Mount Capra does not actually call for you to use an iron supplement. This is uh, due to our pediatrician's wishes. Basically, if you have a preemie baby um, because they get disconnected from the placenta so early on, they tend to be low in iron. And um, so for the first six months of life, we're using liquid iron as a supplement. So again, just the once a days are the iron supplement, the DHA, the colostrum, the probiotic, and the Head Start multivitamin. Just to reiterate, our babies have thrived on this stuff. They've been drinking it since they came home, which was Babies came home in August. Babies came home beginning, middle of August. We're now almost through November. They're thriving on it. Um, another thing that really sold me on it is they have a Facebook group. Um, and it's, it's just filled with other people who've used this product. And there's so many stories of people whose babies have thrived on this. And even just premature babies, which really drew me into it. And I don't know, it's just really cool getting to see all the supplies that are actually going into your formula so you know, you know what your babies are drinking and you're a little bit more in control. And uh, so super thankful we found this company. Our babies have thrived on it. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to actually mix it up and get it ready for your babies. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add in the goat milk powder. And I have a scale right here underneath my little bowl. Zero it out and we're gonna add in I don't even know if I'm gonna tell you how many grams I'm adding, but that's the first thing that we add in. And I'm simply following the recipe card right here. So I add all this in, if I can open this bag. Okay. 
So just simple as adding in the powder. We did the 32 serving batch. All right, there's a goat milk powder. Now we add in, now we add in the lactose. We zero it out again. Here I'm adding 384 grams of lactose. Got an empty container now, which we like to re-save these and actually keep the formula in this. So we, we might end up doing that. I got another thing of lactose right here. Add in a little bit more. Again, trying to get to 384 grams. Ah, I want one gram over. I'm okay with that. 385. The next thing you add in is your ghee. You add in 72 grams. go we got our ghee in there and the next part is our molasses so this actually calls for 36 grams we like to add in just a little bit more keep our babies regular so we'll add in a bit about 42 And then the olive oil, we're adding in olive oil. We add in 36 grams. One more gram. And for the hemp oil, I add in 20 grams. Okay, that's all the ingredients you add to your formula. That's it. Now we can take it off the scale. And what I do at first is I just take a spatula and mix it up as well as I can with the spatula. After the spatula, I get a hand mixer out and mix it all together. So mix it with the hand or the, the spatula at first. I like to get it off the edges of the bowl. I always end up, I always end up spilling just a little bit. I'm trying to get, I'm getting better at it. I mean, that's, that's wasted money, wasted formula but I'm getting better. All right, now we're gonna blend all this together. Okay, and I'm done mixing up the formula. I like the way it looks. So I think you can see that here in the video. Yeah, it turns out looking really good. I always joke that it smells really good. I haven't tried any yet, but I might end up doing that because it smells so good. <laughs> but yeah, after that, once we are done making the formula, we just keep an old lactose container. You can probably read that. It says formula number two on it. So we like to have two jars going at one time. <clears throat> and yeah, we just take our batch, fill up our container, and then we keep it in the fridge. And that's how we make our own formula.